it's unclear how the Saved by the Bell Peacock reboot will play out, but most of the original stars have managed to amass a small fortune from their endeavors outside of the show. They certainly don't need a reboot, but they seem to want one. Find out what the Saved by the Bell cast is worth today. Dustin Diamond went from playing Bayside High's lovable Screech to becoming an unwilling participant in his own crime drama. According to The Mirror, the actor claimed to have made around $2 million in his Saved by the Bell role, but less than a decade after the series ended in 1992, he was flat broke. Diamond filed for bankruptcy in 2000, alleging his parents stole his earnings and never managed to financially recover, despite appearances on Celebrity Fit Club, Celebrity Big Brother, and Celebrity Championship Wrestling. He's been in and out of jail, first for allegedly stabbing someone outside of a bar in 2014, then for breaking probation by taking oxycodone. He's also been sued over failing to pay taxes and his mortgage. Diamond went through some desperate measures to stay afloat. In 2006, he released an adult video called Screeched, Saved by the Smell, to save his home from repossession, according to The Independent. It turned out to be completely fabricated. The actor used a body double. Next came his controversial 2009 memoir, Behind the Bell. The cash grab might have been a believable retelling of the salacious behind-the-scenes happenings on the series, if its resident dweeb didn't claim to have slept with 2,000 women. That and the fact that his co-stars totally disputed it, according to The Mirror. He ended up denouncing the memoir in 2013. With my name being put on the front of it, and with Ghost Rider, by nature of it, his name is nowhere to be, so it's believable that it was mine. Today, Diamond is reportedly worth just $50,000 and sustains himself through film cameos and stand-up comedy. Dennis Haskins had a long career before playing the principal of Bayside High. The star already played Mr. Richard Belding in the short-lived 1988 TV series and Saved by the Bell predecessor, Good Morning, Miss Bliss. But he also had cameos in popular TV shows like The Dukes of Hazzard, The Twilight Zone, and Magnum P.I. Though he's reportedly only worth around $300,000, which isn't anything to scoff at for those of us who aren't celebrities, the actor managed to parlay his Saved by the Bell role into a lasting career. Fox News reports that Haskins has been, quote, "...making bank with public appearances at bars around the country." Not surprisingly, he's frequented Las Vegas and even hosted a naughty schoolgirl contest at a nightclub, which only ruins our childhood just a little bit. After Screech went rogue, we pretty much always expect the worst. Hey, hey, what is going on here? Haskins explained, "...the markets I play the best in are the ones with people 20 to 35. Mr. Belding is universal. Personal appearances are a way many actors from older shows supplement their income, and it is a blessing." According to Elizabeth Whittles, who brought in Haskins for a back-to-school with Mr. Belding night at her now-defunct New York City bar Turtle Bay, celeb appearances usually garner $2,500 to $25,000. Haskins typically only hangs out and signs autographs for two hours, which makes his hourly wage pretty astronomical when you break it down. You'd think Lisa Turtle would have accumulated more than a $500,000 net worth after Saved by the Bell, but that's somehow not the case. Actress Lark Voorhees had a lengthy soap career and starred as Wendy Reardon in Days of Our Lives, later taking on the role of Jasmine Malone in The Bold and the Beautiful. She even had a recurring role in LL Cool J's TV comedy In the House. So what happened? In recent years, things have seemed tumultuous for Voorhees. In 2012, People ran a profile titled A Teen Star Sad Spiral, in which her mother claimed the actress had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Voorhees raised additional concerns with a bizarre, barely intelligible Entertainment Tonight interview, where she refuted her alleged diagnosis and claimed people had tricked her. She said, "...it is a small opinionata that is getting blown currently out of proportions. I have no stating reasons why anyone should worry about me. Clearly, I am a very strong, top-of-the-line, always riding to it personage." It just, it's just, it's not. It's completely fictional. Since the shocking interview, Voorhees eloped in Las Vegas with alleged former gang member Jimmy Green, filed for divorce six months later, and slammed her ex in a lengthy, since-deleted Instagram rant, though she later claimed her account was hacked. Tiffany Thiessen's reported $10 million fortune probably didn't have much to do with her Saved by the Bell role. Though she starred as Kelly Kapowski all the way to Saved by the Bell The College Years and Saved by the Bell Wedding in Las Vegas, the actress joined Beverly Hills 90210 in 1994 as Valerie Malone, shortly after Shannon Doherty left the series. That's likely where she made a huge chunk of her change. You know, I am not Brenda. I will never be Brenda. Don't talk to me about Brenda! 
Thiessen's 90210 co-star Jenny Garth revealed in her memoir, Deep Thoughts from a Hollywood Blonde, that the cast made some pretty serious cash, saying, It is really good money. Money on a level that I just didn't understand when I was just a teenager. But I did understand that it took a ton of financial pressure off of my family, and this felt good. All of a sudden, I was able to buy things for the people I loved. I was able to support myself and become financially independent at a young age. It's safe to say Thiessen probably did well even if she historically feuded with Garth and Tori Spelling, who, as of 2017, were still throwing her shade during a guest appearance on RuPaul's Drag Race. As, oh, how do you say it? Bethany. Just say that which we don't speak of. Yes. <laughs> we know her as that which, which we don't speak of. Though Thiessen ditched out on the 90210 revival, she has been steadily landing major TV roles, including USA's White Collar and the Netflix series Alexa and Katie. It's kind of astounding that Elizabeth Berkley has managed to maintain a multi-million dollar net worth. The actress, who played Jesse Spano, left Bayside High behind her in 1992, forgoing the college years. While she briefly reprised her role in 1994's Saved by the Bell Wedding in Las Vegas, her transition to feature films wasn't very smooth. The year after Berkeley put her Saved by the Bell character to rest, she starred in the critically panned NC-17 drama Showgirls. Yeah, it helped her shed her image as a teen sitcom star, but it almost cost her her career. According to the Los Angeles Times, she was only given $100,000 to play the part of Nomi Malone, despite the flick's $40 million budget. Director Paul Verhoeven even admitted that he accepted half of his usual $4 million fee because they, quote, had no more money. Showgirls was such a flop that Berkeley was dropped by her agent. Thankfully, the actress managed to bounce back and perform the following year alongside Bette Midler, Goldie Hawn, and Diane Keaton in The First Wives Club. She's been steadily acting ever since and is gearing up for the untitled Saved by the Bell reboot. Today, she's worth an estimated $6 million. Bayside High's prime after-school hangout spot, The Max, got a real-life reboot in 2016 with pop-up diners in Chicago and Los Angeles. Though the restaurants were a hit, with the Chicago eatery serving more than 20,000 Bayside burgers, it certainly wasn't because Ed Alonzo was manning the kitchen. In fact, he only attended the June 2016 opening. So if Alonzo wasn't running the real-life Max like his on-screen character, how has he been making his cash since Saved by the Bell? The actor has a net worth that's about as mysterious as his career. Depending on the source, he's worth as little as $1 million and as much as $16 million. Despite the huge range, one thing is clear. This star makes most of his money through magic. Alonzo's a magician first and an actor second. From his segment with BFF Neil Patrick Harris during a 1990 MDA telethon, to his work on Britney Spears' 2009 tour The Circus starring Britney Spears. According to his website, he even, quote, created magical elements for Michael Jackson's cancelled comeback tour. These days, Alonzo has pretty much put his acting career to rest. While he appeared in select episodes of Masters of Illusion as recently as 2018, it seems like he's been mostly doing consulting work behind the scenes. It might seem like Leanna Creel, who played tomboy Tori Scott, disappeared when Saved by the Bell ended in 1992. Her only acting credits beyond the hit sitcom are an unnamed role in the 1996 comedy Freeway, two minor TV cameos, and a spot in the Jennifer Lopez thriller The Cell. It's pretty clear that Creel didn't amass her estimated $2 million net worth through acting. Instead, she decided to jump behind the scenes. In an interview with ABC News, Creel admitted that she's surprised people still remember her from Saved by the Bell, saying, even at the time, it was kind of campy and not necessarily something I'd want to be remembered for. Instead, she wanted to make her mark in the world of producing. The actress turned producer went back to school and got her Master's of Fine Arts at UCLA, then launched her own production studio with an investment banker. She said, It was baptism by fire. I worked with Will Ferrell and Ben Stiller and Kate Hudson and learned a lot about filmmaking. But then I decided, I think I want to be behind the camera. After Creel sold her company to Lionsgate, she launched a photography business but soon found herself producing once again. Ultimately, she decided that her business, Creel Studio, should be a combination of both her passions. Who didn't expect teenage heartthrob Zach Morris to ultimately become a massively successful TV actor? The Saved by the Bell star was always a fan favorite, if only for the scene where Jesse Spano has a meltdown over caffeine pills. That's some 
real Emmy-worthy stuff right there. Needless to say, Mark Paul Gosseler did pretty well for himself since graduating from Bayside High and enduring the college years. He didn't even suffer from the freshman 15. The actor almost has too many successful gigs to count, from long-running stints with NYPD Blue and Franklin and Bash, to reprising the role of himself in the meta-comedy Nobodies. Gosseler has managed to rack up a reported $9 million net worth, but it's not from his work on Saved by the Bell. In an episode of Watch What Happens Live, the actor admitted that the sitcom's biggest stars weren't making very much on residuals. We made really bad deals, poor wow. deals back then. Mario Lopez is the only Saved by the Bell star to reportedly amass an eight-figure fortune, barring Leah Remini, who only guest starred for six episodes. Though we expected Zach Morris's right-hand man to do pretty well for himself, it was hard to predict the sheer magnitude of Lopez's career. Following his tenure with the crime drama Pacific Blue, Lopez put his shirt back on over his washboard abs and dove into the world of soaps. He played Dr. Christian Ramirez on The Bold and the Beautiful for 46 episodes, but really ended up finding his footing just playing himself. Lopez is now a prolific TV host. From his long-running work with Extra to stints on America's Best Dance Crew, Live with Kelly, Celebrity Name Game, Entertainment Tonight, The Talk, and so many others we'd probably need some of Jesse Spano's caffeine pills just to make it through the entire list. At one point, he even had his own reality show. Yep, that's me in front of the camera, like I've been most of my life. It seems like 2019 will be Lopez's biggest year yet. According to Deadline, he signed a lucrative deal with NBC Universal that lets him make original programming for Universal Television. In addition to becoming the face of Access Hollywood and its daytime sister series, Access Daily, he's also producing and starring in Saved by the Bell's untitled reboot, which is likely part of the deal. Lopez is worth an estimated $20 million. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.